To create your first app, go to appinventor.mit.edu. Click on Create Apps. Sign in using your school email, uh, school Google account or school email address here. When you get to this screen, just hit continue and you can click on this box so you don't ever have to see it again um, or leave it blank. It's up to you. When you first uh, start using App Inventor, you'll come to a screen here where uh, I have a few projects because I've been using it for a while. You won't have any, so you'll just click Start New Project. And uh, if you were to watch the tutorial produced by the App Inventor people, they would say to change, uh, uh, give this the name of Talk to Me. But I don't want you to do that. I want you to change it to Talk to, and then put your name here. I'm going to put Mike. So Talk to Mike. You go ahead and put whatever your name is. That way it's easy for all the students in the class to figure out whose app is whose because we do share these Kindles uh, within the class and then across classrooms. So there will be a lot of apps on them by the, by the end of the day and uh, by the next time you use it. Once you've uh, created the app, once you've started it by giving it a name, now it's time to add some functionality to it. So the first thing we're going to do is add a button here. And right now the text says text for button one. I want to change that so that it's uh, talk to me. Um, that's because any user is going to see this. If I give this to my friend, I want it to not be specific to my name. If I click now, you'll see that the text changes here. I also want to change the title. So here where it says screen one, if I click on this, I can scroll down and I can change that title. So it says uh, talk to, I'm going to say talk to Mike. And I notice I'm using correct capitalization and I'm using spaces. It's okay to do that when I'm affecting this title, but when I first create the app, I'm not able to do that. I can't have any spaces. And that's why I use the number two here, just to make it a little bit shorter, because when I actually see it on my device, I have a limited amount of space for that app's name. All right. Now that I have a, a button and I've changed the text, it's time to add uh, some text-to-speech functionality here. So I'm going to grab this text-to-speech block and drop it right here. And you'll see that it scrolls to the, it shows up at the bottom of this uh, display window here. Uh, all of these over here are different drawers that add different functionality to your apps. And so I just chose the one from the media drawer, this text-to-speech uh, tool. Once you have that, go to blocks and we are going to click on button one and say when button one is clicked I want my app to speak so it's going to do text to speech and I need to drop in some text here so I'm going to grab this little text block and it is going to say congratulations You've made your first app. Uh, to get this app onto the Kindle, uh, some of the videos you might see, they might say something about clicking on connect, but that doesn't work at the school. Uh, our school's network doesn't allow that functionality. So we have to click build and then this top option here will eventually display a QR code that you can scan with pretty much any QR code scanner and it will uh, initiate a download and then once that file is downloaded to your device you can install it. You might have to change the settings on your phone 
in order to be able to install a third party app. So here is the QR code right here that you need to scan.